Long time no see, folks. This is Black Naganashi here, and um, I would like to say this is an adventure quest video, but this is more of a video of me expressing my thoughts and to brief you guys on how things have been going um, in the past few months, um, especially since my last video. Okay, so um, honestly, uh. I honestly don't know where to start. Um, so, basically, um, I've been going through a lot of things. Um, Life-wise, uh, most definitely. Um, I'm not going to go into detail, honestly, because, you know, it's too personal. But, uh, alongside that, I've been thinking about where I stand with adventure quest and um youtube as well and things just isn't the same anymore honestly now the way i feel about adventure quest as a whole um it has not changed from when i first started playing this game in 2007 okay i've been playing this game overall for 12 years okay um, I started playing this when I was 11 years old. I'm 23 now. Okay. So I'm one of the folks who have seen a lot as far as this game's growth and how far this came. Okay. I've had a lot of different opinions about this game and how video making goes and, you know, all things alike. And... I always wanted to serve a particular individual purpose in this game, all right? Um, Adventure Quest itself, like as far as like, you know, YouTube and, you know, creating content that people would like genuinely, okay? What I mean by that is, um, as far as like, you know, editing, you know, um, music, most definitely the music, because I most definitely will touch bases on the music part. Um, everything that comes along with making Adventure Quest videos, all right? Now, I'm going to explain everything, and hopefully folks will, you know, see where I'm coming from and understand me a little bit better um, after I say all these things, okay? So, here it is. How I feel about YouTube. Now, when I first created my YouTube account, I did not jump out the gate making Adventure Quest videos. I started off watching Adventure Quest videos and I wanted to make my own, all right? I wanted to make them so bad to the point where I would literally hold a phone up to the computer screen and literally just like record a battle and I would just be so amazed at how it would look because, like, looking at people like Zerol and uh, Vendetta, uh, Pure Evil, um, Deadly Ace, or um, Deadly Poison. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting some people. Um, Zaki Rev, um, Kazwar. Um, people, people like them, you know, they inspired me to create this, like, this whole, this whole thing here. I know I'm forgetting a couple people, but those people that I can think of, think of um, off the top of my head. But in my very first video, I gave an exact list of folks who inspired me to start, you know, making events quest videos. All right. So when it comes to YouTube and even the events request community, um, overall, an exception of probably like a small time period, I was always a lone wolf, okay? Um, I was always the guy that like just was like isolated from everyone. And it was by choice. Um, I felt like if I wanted to like really collab with people the whole time, I probably could. But I've been like inconsistent overall, especially like as of now, you know, nowadays, that, you know, it would be impossible to do so, you know? It would probably look like, oh, 
you know, Black Naganashi is trying to, you know, get his views up, you know, off the strength of someone else. And I refuse to have that reputation, honestly. So let's talk about reputation. Okay. So I wanted to genuinely and honestly build my reputation off just me. And what I mean by that is like how I do my videos. Like I have skimmed over so many comments as far as like my past videos and I see complaints and the complaints don't bother me, honestly. Um, even when I did entertain it, it wasn't nothing too serious because like it's just a game. It's just it's the internet. People are gonna talk, you know. I'm not really gonna put much energy into negativity overall, okay? But the complaints was in regards to my music that I put in my Adventure Quest videos. Now, me, I like to stand out overall. Like I said literally a couple seconds ago, I like to stand out, okay? Um, so that includes my music. And clearly, it's, it's kind of obvious why I put the music there. And, you know, like... I'm not going to say it has fully to do with race, because honestly, we're not about to make this a race thing at all. But it's the music I like, honestly. Like, it's what I like. Now, you're probably thinking, well, if you want more subscribers, and if you want, if you want, like, people to view your shit more, why not put the music they like? Well, here's why. And it's not about, like, it's not about me saying, fuck you guys, or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. The reason why I put what I want to put on my videos is because when people like the video, it's because other people like, you know what I'm saying? Because then I wouldn't feel comfortable making these videos. It's like working a job. You don't really like the job, but you're only there to make the money, right? But when you're working your career, your dream, you know, your dream job or, you know, your, prof your profession, you genuinely enjoy it, you know? And like all the feelings that you have, for it's from the heart, right? So when I put these songs and I put these videos up, it's like my way of saying it's from the heart. Like I like I did this, you know what I'm saying? Well, minus the music, of course, I'm not the creator of the music. Um, and some people are bothered by that. I'm not mad at them for it because you know people had their preference and that's fine. Now in the past. I did use similar music to other folks, and it wasn't just because people enjoyed the music as well, but um, I honestly did like the music. Like, okay, like Linkin Park. I do like Linkin Park. I like Nickelback, you know, low-key. You know, I don't, like, listen to... I don't, like, listen to a lot of the stuff that other folks listen to, like, as far as, like, um, rock, metal, stuff like that, you know? And I'm not saying that's bad music. It's just, like, it, like, it doesn't... It doesn't click with me very well, honestly, overall. You know, only very few songs do, you know? I feel like there's a lot of people like uh, System of a Down, Evanescence, um, stuff like that, you know? And it has nothing to do with the group or the artist, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, oh, y'all music bad. No, nope, I'm not that type of guy, you know? Because different strokes for different folks, you know? It's just like, the songs that I put, it, you know, it's not only that they reach out to me better, but I just like them, you know what I'm saying? And it and it makes like it makes making videos better for me personally. So if people do like it and people be like, hey, like I like that song, or I really like I really bangs that song with the song name, it makes you feel good because I'm like, okay, cool, something that I actually like has caught someone's attention. Now I've had very few times where people have said something like, Oh, um, I really like that song, what's the name of that song? Right? And honestly that made me happy because um, it's a song that I put. It wasn't a song that everybody else be putting that um, be catch people's attention. It's a song that I put, so it makes me feel really good about myself, honestly. Right? So, um, that's that. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if I did, I will most definitely come back and touch bases on that. But the next thing is resources, right? Now, I am 100% sure that Whoever continues to watch my videos have heard me complain about this various, various times, okay? And that is 
um, the whole editing situation, right? Now, back in the day, the whole um, Windows Movie Maker thing, it was cool, right? You know, that was my beginning stages. I was just getting into editing, you know, basic editing. But, you know, as time goes on, I'm just like, okay, I want my videos to be more flashy. Um, they're not flashy enough. Like, they're not flashy enough. And I feel like that's the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I'm not, like, really getting views like that, right? Um, honestly, I'm going to turn the sound off, actually, for once. I usually like it on because, you know, all the sounds. But, you know, um, but I feel like my videos, as they were, were most definitely, definitely, like, lackluster. I feel that way strongly. Yes, I do, like, little basic editing and everything like that, but I feel strongly that my videos are lackluster, you know, with, you know, Windows Movie Maker. Like, a lot of people don't even use that shit anymore. I'm the only, I'm the only asshole still using that shit, you know? And I've tried reaching out to folks various times, like, hey, uh, like, how do you get a better editor? Never really got a direct answer, honestly. I've gotten, like, little suggestions here and there, but that's not enough. And I'm not about to, honest, I'm not about to sit here and stress about it. I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck you guys for not giving me the proper help or nothing like that. I'm just like, okay, well, forget it then, you know? But I know for a fact, and I know this for sure, I'm not even going to stress that part either. I know if I had a better editor, I would probably have even more uh, motivation to make AQ videos, right? Um, so that's why I really try not to, like, plague you guys with, like, shitty content. And when I say shitty content, I meant the editing. Because, like, of course, like, I'm not by the shit on how I play Adventure Quest. Even though it's really simple, you know, I, you know, spam attack button all day, you know. Yada yada, right? But I mean, what what can you expect from a warrior build when it comes to you know this game? Like it's a warrior build, straightforward, like straight to the point. Um, builds, honestly, in my opinion, depends on the time that you have for this game. If we don't have time for this game like that, you're not gonna choose a build like a mage or even a beast build because that requires time. Even though, yes, you can build up damage quicker, which is cool, but it requires setup. And, you know, that takes time. However, warriors, you can literally have the right build, have the right armor, you know, nice setup, and you can deal consistent damage, you know. It may not be burst damage, but it's consistent damage, right? So that's that. Now, as far as my concern about Adventure Quest content, right? Honestly, um, I have not participated in a lot of the uh, events that Adventure Quest have been releasing. Um, that that Burning Solstice series, um, I've been seeing a lot of that shit, like, for like probably a little over a month. Not like now, but like when I was checking the page. And I haven't really touched it like that, honestly. I haven't. I feel like it's pretty decent, but it's nothing that made me, like, swing open my laptop and click onto the game. Because, of course, I've checked through my phone you know, the homepage, but this new Mastercraft, and, you know, with Mark Lewin, um, uh, um, what, I'm trying to remember, um, uh, what was what it called, I can't remember, um, the Thanksgiving event, I'm so mad, I can't remember, let me look, I think I have the, uh, the, um, uh, painting here, let me look, Okay, yeah, Harvest Fest. You know, those events are pretty interesting, honestly. And Foss, Foss was always going to be the best, always will be the best AQ event in time period ever. Always. Because you're always guaranteed to get rares. Always guaranteed. You know? And that's why I tend to appear around that time because you're always going to get something good out of the deal. You know? You're not going to get something that's going to come around again next next year or, you know, something like that. Now, the only way you can do it is if you have the painting or if, if AQ decides to be nostalgic and bring stuff back, which is cool. I'll accept that because um, there's some forceful things that I've missed, you know, that I would not mind, you know, having a second chance to get. But if they don't bring it back, that's fine. It's cool. You know, I'm not really going to stress about it. But forceful is automatic, like, oh, yeah, I'm getting on AQ today. 
you know. Um, but um, as far as I see, like the overall um stand standpoint of AQ, um, like this is my personal opinion, the events really isn't like interesting. I, I've been saying that for the longest time. I've been saying it for the longest time, and that's another reason why I haven't even, you know, made a video. You know, I only make videos like when it comes to like boss fights or something like that. Cause I like challenges, and the uh, the moderator challenge, the new one, that was actually really challenging, and I loved it. You know, it took me a couple of tries. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna be honest with you. But when I finally got it, I'm like, okay, cool. This is the one. You know, I was pretty satisfied with how challenging it was. Um, to be perfectly honest, and I need more things like that for me to really like make videos. To be real, to be perfectly honest with you. But as far as like where I stand, like with like YouTube itself, like I don't like I'm not gonna say I'm a quit because like I don't think I'm a quit honestly. Like I'm still here. It's just it just seems like I'm not, you know. Which is I'm not gonna say which is fine, but it's it's kind of expected. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like okay, you know we've you know we've heard you say these things before. Or we're used to this already. You know, for those who are consistent enough to really sit here and wait on a notification, you know, as far as a video from me, that's real loyalty and I appreciate that. Now, for the folks who did not stick around, I'm not mad at you either. You know, I'm not mad at you. Um, like, shit, like, you want to see content, you know? If you want constant content, unfortunately, I am not the guy to go to. Um, go to someone like Zero Phantom, Seth Hydra, um, I feel like I forget somebody. Um... I think those two are great at um, consistency, preferably a uh, zero phantom. Like he has made an impact over the years, and cause I remember when he was coming up, you know. So he's he's been doing like phenomenal, honestly. Um, now it's not that I can't compete with him or anything like that. It is I'm not I'm not at his stage anymore. When I was at his stage. I felt like I could have been in that particular, you know, that particular position, you know, because Zero Phantom, he's, you know, younger than me, you know, so he has more time in his hands, and his love for AQ, as far as I know, you know, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, if you happen to see the Zero, you know, his love is, you know, stronger, you know, now you're probably thinking like, whoa, you know, like, that's, Surprise are coming from you, Black. But, um, I mean, it's true. Like, it's not that I don't love the game anymore. It's just, like, I'm at a time in life where I can't just sit in front of the laptop all day and uh, play AQ. Or, I don't have the motivation to play. Now, I'm not saying that Zero... Not, I, said, I said Zero, I'm sorry. Now, I'm not saying that um, Zero does that, you know, but I'm saying he has more flexibility, he's more flexible, now, I'm 100% sure he's dealing with life things too, because I, I watch his videos, and he's, he says how, you know, he, um, you know, he's dealing with life issues, or he's just dealing with life, everyone does, you know, it's life, you know, but when he makes his videos, you would have thought that he never left, and that's, that's honestly bomb, like, I love that about, I love that about him, you know, like, that's respect, like, I respect him a lot for his consistency. He has the consistency that I don't have, you know? And that's exactly why he is, if not the top player, as far as, like, uh, YouTube, he's most definitely one of the top, and he earned that shit. He most definitely did, you know? Um, and that's the thing about AQ videos. Like, consistency is the main thing, above even the flashiness. Like, if you make videos all the time, the flashiness really will start to matter even less because you're being consistent, right? But that's one of those situations where it's speed and quality, right? For him, he had the perfect balance, you know? Speed and quality. Because he would, you know, dish out videos out the ass. I might die in this battle, by the way. He uh, dishes out videos out the ass, and then the videos be wonderful it's like watching a movie 
right? Um, even when he slowed down in um, making his videos, he still will come out the woodworks making bomb ass videos, you know? And that is respected a lot as far as, as far as, you know, a content creator, like real shit. Like that's really respected. Like you come out of nowhere and they're like, look, it's been a while. I know y'all been, um, y'all been missing me, but I'm back with the fire. You know what I'm saying? So like that is respected. You know what I'm saying? And I wish I had that same, like that same steam that I had back then. Cause there was times where I would release like multiple videos in one day and then I would release another tomorrow, you know, back then. Not like tomorrow, like as in tomorrow, but like I would like release more videos the next day and people were like, damn, we're gonna roll, you know what I'm saying? And that was a beautiful feeling to have, like somebody just noticing like, damn, didn't you just release a video like like an hour ago? Shit. Like I used to be on it, you know? And it's just like time's changing and I'm older, so it's like I can't I can't like prioritize this game like how I used to. But you know, trust and believe, I still play. I still, I go lot. I be checking on him monthly now, which is kind of, it kind of sucks. You know, I remember the time I took like a six month break from the game. You know, like it, it was a long time when I came back to the game and it felt like refreshing. But um, the most I would spend off Adventure Quest is probably like two months uh, at most. But around this time, I'm going to be on a little bit more consistently because, you know, holidays and, you know, better events come out around this time. And I might do the Master Craft uh, quest to see how that is. And if I'm feeling it enough, I might I might make a video on that, you know. But um, I'm most definitely going to be on here more this monthly. Um the, more, the the main reason why I only check him monthly is, is to claim my um my common uh golden gift boxes, you know. Other than that, I just I just click right back off, you know, and to see what else is out. Like the um um Zfinity gauntlets. Honestly, I really want I really want them. Like, but I don't be spending money on this game like that anymore. Like if I did, it, this game would probably be a little bit more fun because of course you know new items, you know, all the other stuff, but. You know, I have to have my priorities, my life priorities first, and I just have to really like, I have to get my shit together, basically. You know, uh, but I just want to stop by and just, you know, share some thoughts with you guys, and just so you guys can see things from my point of view. When I make these videos, I make them like. For, like I make them for me to y'all, if that makes sense. Like, like all the way down to the music, to the editing, to the way I play. You know, it's all like for me, and it comes off selfish. But I mean, like it's the truth, honestly. Like, who's gonna sit here and do all these things for others if they don't even enjoy it themselves? Because if you don't enjoy it, you're not even gonna be motivated to do it, you know, even if you do enjoy it, it's still going to be like, eh, like, dang, like, these people want me to do this, I just, you know, like, um, back then, Uber would change builds because people wanted him to, now, he enjoyed doing that, but after a while, he stuck with one build for a while, or there's times where he decided to change builds on his own, and no one said, hey, you should use this build, or anything like that, or anything like that. He even, you know, and I will put air quotes on this, made up his own build called the Uber Hybrid. And literally people was like, like following that trend of the Uber Hybrid. But in reality, that Uber Hybrid has, you know, an actual name, you know. But because people never used that build and utilized it the way he did, people decided to go ahead and go along with it. You know, nothing against Uber because he was cool, you know. He was cool at the time, but, like, one thing I did not like about Uber, honestly, you know, is that um, he would only, like, interact with you, like, fully, like, fully if you was promoting him, you know? Like, he would promote people, but it's just, like, 
I feel like you would have to like promote him first, you know. But like nothing against Uber at all. Like he was, like he was like um he was the reason why I became a pure warrior, you know. So I'm not gonna sit here and um bullshit and be like oh fuck Uber because that's fake. Honestly, like a lot of people may say fuck Uber or a lot of people may not like bang with him like they used to, you know. Especially considering that he disappeared out of nowhere, but um but like. I'm gonna stay true and be like, yeah, he most definitely was. He most definitely was a homie, you know. It is some of his tendencies, you know, I wasn't really too fond of. But I think that's a lot of people. Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people was like, man, like, like, not he, you know, he don't make videos enough, or damn, like, his editing sucks, you know. Or well, most definitely the music. I'm pretty sure I'll probably get more more hassle about the music above everything else. But you know, I mean, that's life. That's people. I'm not gonna change my music. Um, I would love to change the way I edit things, but I can't, <sighs> but, um, it's a lot, honestly, so, my final thoughts before I end this video is this, I will still love Adventure Quest, um, I don't think I'm quitting anytime soon, but if I do for some reason decide to quit, um, I will have a whole nother announcement for that, and I will, you know, of course, keep everyone posted, you know, but as of right now, I'm still here. Um, as far as my video making, um, the, um, the consistency will remain stagnant uh, because, you know, life. And I'm getting myself together. Um, what else? The music is staying. Okay. That's, that's not changing. Um, but I do want to give a shout out, even though I have done this before. Okay. But I'm going to do it verbally, okay? And this shout-out is to DJ Sonic Freak, okay? Now, y'all are probably wondering, who was that, right? So, some of the songs that I've been using in my past videos was from DJ Sonic Freak, right? Um, I'm pretty sure I heard the, um, the little, you know, the beats and shit, and it would, you know, say DJ Sonic Freak. Yes, he is one of the people who has helped me through a hard time with his music, his beats. And I love it a lot. And he's a great um he's a great content creator. And I wasn't really a big fan of listening to people's beats, but listening to his beats really brightened my day, honestly. So I wanted to give a verbal shout out to DJ Sonic Freak. I'm gonna drop his channel in the description below. So if anyone happens to watch this for any reason and even makes it to the end, because, you know, I've been talking a lot, please go to his channel, subscribe to him, you know, and check out his content. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. If not, that's fine, too. But I just want to, you know, go ahead and, you know, make sure I give him a shout out because, like, DJ Sonic Freak, he's, he's the GOAT. Um, he's truly the GOAT. I've been listening to him since he came out, honestly. So I just wanted to put that out there. Um, it's a lot though. Um, it's really a lot with this, like life-wise, with everything I'm going through, and like just how I feel about Adventure Quest and how I feel about the AQ YouTube community. You know, it's a lot. But um, no hard feelings towards anyone though. Overall, no hard feelings, but you know, just wanted to put some things out there. Um, if there's things I didn't cover, most def, I'm most definitely gonna make a whole nother video about it. But I think that's just about it. So, um, everyone, take it easy. Um, please enjoy the rest of your year. Um, and better long. Catch y'all later.